what's going on moms and dads so i recently watched this video this og dude rancher i'm gonna put his um channel and everything in the description but just a just a ranching dude talking about controlling your anger your temper and it inspired me to do this video i just want to talk about how anger has definitely gotten the better out of all of us especially me and i don't feel like I'm such an angry person necessarily like I'm not the type and I don't think I've ever been the type to scream and scream and scream and you know be violent and really like that it's more I'm just a very irritable person very frustrated and I try to remain calm I try to do you know my little methods deep breaths and close my eyes and stuff like that you know listen to now I try to listen to less loud music I feel like I'm even though I'm only 29 I feel like I feel like my my parents are now where where I I feel like my parents are now where I need the volume lower I feel like maybe it's just because I'm so noise sensitive hearing so much so much chaos within work and life and my kids and things of that nature so I like the volume much lower than I did before and on top of that I like more softer music a lot of the time now I'll play more you know jazz or like R&B or you know uh, maybe just instr instrumentals F uh, what is his name FKJ you know she's very um, I don't know what you would you classify I don't know how you would classify his music but it's just very vibey music and I just play it nice at a mellow you know level instead of blasting and singing and rapping you know to all this music and I feel like things like that are things that help me stay more calm throughout the day because most of the time I have my kids and, and they're in the back seat, you know, daddy, daddy, daddy. And my son is over here screaming his head off because he's hungry, frustrated, he's sleeping, things like that. And my kid is telling me all sorts of things. Daddy, I don't love you. Daddy, I have a boyfriend. Daddy, I kissed this little boy today, whatever it may be and maybe you're trying to take a call maybe you're just trying to unwind from work or whatever the case may be but i know i've had that issue and trying to control those moments or again not even trying to control but just manage because we can't control anything right especially with kids but, but i know i certainly have improved over the years and i'm not as irritable i know my methods have helped me out my i just encourage you guys parents or not to again recognize these things recognize your triggers and come up with a plan to de-escalate yourself to you know to to mellow yourself out because your spouse anybody around you your kids do not deserve these type of reactions this type of energy you need to know how to control yourself before you try to control your kids or teach them how to control themselves because these are just little humans trying to go throughout the day and process their own feelings understand things their little brain is still young we got years on them and we still haven't mastered this but in the video this man was talking about the three things that he did i can't actually remember the last one but it was a diet exercise and uh, something else not to rewatch it my short attention span and horrible memory um but i really hope that i know i know i'm not the only one out here feeling this way struggling with themselves or struggling with the family kids and trying to control these emotions and do better for themselves and for them kids one thing i can really say is i've been trying to change my mentality my my expectation of myself and of course definitely my kids that are more of the wild card and that being we always want things to be clean or done a certain way or at a certain time but again these are such little humans that you cannot expect that you're expecting grade a performance professional performance you're expecting perfection from little humans and that's just not the case it can't it can't happen like that once you accept that and process that things go so much more easier when they get distracted and are 
you know, throwing a tantrum, whatever it might be, you don't get so upset. You recognize the situation. By this point, you should have formed a method to de-escalate the situation. And again, I've said it before, I try to make my kid laugh. I'll ask her, hey, do you need a hug? Things of like that. And when you're in such a rush, when you're in a rush and you're trying to get places, again, you're projecting such anxiety, such anger, frustration onto your kids or whoever it may be. When in reality, I've learned in so many occasions that I've been so worked up trying to make it on time or early. And at the end, it ended up working out anyways. If we left later than expected, it ended up working out. And it's made me realize that why am I in such a rush to get to wherever I'm supposed to get to? What is more important, my kids' mental health, my kids' feelings, or me getting to such and such place on time? Take the time to discover what your kids, whatever they may be doing, whether if it is picking something, something off the ground, eating, whatever it may be, take a little bit of time and finish off the food that they have answer the questions they may have i try to do these little things now instead of just like snapping and snapping like let's go let's go let's go instead if i see my kids you know doing something again like picking something up discovering learning i will be there right by them and be like what is that what's going on what, what can we do what can i help you with what are you thinking if they're trying to play if they're trying to tell me a joke if whatever the case may be I don't just right away dismiss them and push them off to the side and only think about what I have to do or where I have to go.